Hey guys, it's Brienne and Caitlin from Wabi Sabi Well, and today we're talking about the full moon. So we wanted to share with you sort of our thoughts on why we stand at attention when the full moon comes around each month, and us meaning all of Byron and you know, <laughs> yeah, our entire town. <laughs> yeah. um, so first up, do you? I mean, you've probably noticed that people tend to act a little cray when the full moon is around, and we have a theory on that. Mm. So uh, our, our theory is, is backed by others as well. There's a big divide on, on whether this is legit or not. But in terms of looking at, um, we, we feel like the Earth is, our bodies are like a microcosm of the Earth, so many reflections of the Earth. And you look at the impact of the moon, the effect of the moon, the relationship of the moon with the Earth, in terms of how it um, has a gravitational pull on water, it affects all the tides. Mm -hmm. uh, and then looking at our bodies being two thirds water, how could it not have some kind of like pull or effect on us? So our theory is that energetically we can be way too much in our head around the time of the full moon um, so that all of the energy is sort of being drawn into the upper centers, energetic centers of the body, making us feel anxious, scattered, not at all grounded, which is never sort of a good place to be operating from. So there's that aspect, which we think is sort of an interesting one. You can buy into it or not, up to mm -hmm. you. The other thing is just th sort of the literal and figurative light that the full moon sheds mm -hmm. on us and yeah. the world. So, yeah, you've got the, um, I guess with the full moon, everything's illuminated on the earth. So it's also like uh, the shadow lands of the human psyche mm -hmm. become illuminated as well. We get a bigger flashlight cosmic kind of, cosmic torch yeah, yeah so you can introspectively or things actually um come to surface a lot more mm -hmm. they're brought into the light basically mm -hmm. you go hunting for shadows and bring things into the light so you get this opportunity to uh look at what you need to resolve and release and and actually identify those unconscious blocks and habits and behaviors that perhaps you were a little bit blind to mm -hmm. So collectively, these qualities make the full moon an ideal time to reflect, release, and get grounded. So those are the three things that we like to focus on at the full moon each month. So number one, reflection. It's a great time to take stock and evaluate your life, yourself, and notice if there's any negative patterns, habits, behaviors that you would like to let go of. Um, and these could be in the form of a grudge or a frustration, something you need to forgive in yourself or someone else. Um, or it could even be something that isn't inherently negative, but just has served its purpose, run its course, and it's yeah, needs, mm -hmm. needs to make way for what, what's coming. It's a perfect time to destroy so you can create, as Danielle Laporte says. I love that. I love that idea, because I think there's so much intention so much attention on intention setting mm. and goal setting and all of that, which is, we love that, but a lot of times we're sort of skipping over this really mm. potent aspect. A lot of the aspect. time, the way to that is removing what's not, what's in the way, what the obstacles. Exactly. Things, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's sort of what our focus is, is diving into that destructive force mm. tearing it down and then you have a clean slate to start mm. with because when you think about it really it's like what's the point of doing all this goal setting if you've got this subconscious sabotage programs running in the background they're going to go through all hauling, your... hauling things around, around like a bag lady <laughs> what's that Erica Badu song <laughs> bag lady <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we digress. So that's the release aspect. And then the last thing that we like to focus on is getting grounded because, you know, we did talk a little bit about how we have this theory of energetically being pulled up into the upper centers of our energy. Which has a lot bodies. of creative potential if you can stay grounded. Stay if you're grounded, then you're able to bring those great ideas and all that creativity, enhanced creativity, into physical manifestation. Whereas if you're not grounded, you're all up in your head and this is space cadet and I can't Maybe find full of feet. great ideas and stuff or, or your mind's moving too fast for your body to actually be able to mm. keep up and process. Yeah. And it just makes it easier when you're grounded, you can move forward with confidence so you can mm. feel good about what you've done and charge. And yeah. then at the new moon, so 
stay tuned for that. But at the new moon, we'll talk a little bit more about the creative aspect mm -hmm. and setting intentions and what, what we like to focus yeah. on then. So if you're into the full moon vibes that we're throwing down, stay tuned because next week we are actually sharing our ritual that we do at the full moon with you. So we've got a four page printable guide that you can download next week, as well as a guided meditation that we've put together. That's part of the ritual. So it's really fun. We love doing it and we would love for you to try it. So make sure that your name is on the list at wabisabiwell.com so we can send those goodies straight to you next week. And if you have any um, thoughts about the full moon and sort of funny stories yeah. or like your own experience with um, ways of, I guess, using the moon energy to your advantage. Yeah, exactly. And Leave us a comment below. We'd love yeah. to hear. We'd love to hear from you. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Later. Bye. Bye.